But if you're an employee, become a good employee. Figure out where the opportunities are. Skill up. Get paid more. Change jobs. Don't, but then don't flex, don't change your lifestyle, you know, all of those things. So you're absolutely right. Making 17 bucks an hour, you can't become a millionaire. But can you start the path to become a millionaire making 17 bucks an hour? Absolutely. All righty, folks, I want to ask a millionaire can you become a millionaire making 17 bucks an hour? Dion, what say you? I, I like that. So we have those questions for this. Um this uh what do you call it group of videos where people are series series of videos where people are going to watch what you know millionaire questions and some of them you kind of said hey here's the question here's the question for the next one and we go into it and i have a minute to prep but this one you said i have a new question last video can you do this <laughs> and so i don't think you're going to expect my answer awesome no there you absolutely go. freaking not i got laid off from law for did you expect that answer uh you always surprise me so i actually have no expectations okay good That's <laughs> oh, my work is done here so I got laid off from law enforcement because of the 2008 housing crash, because everyone knows when there's a recession, there's no more crime and we don't need cops anymore. So I got laid off at the same time as a bunch of qualified officers. I found a job at a CDL school because I figured my position in law enforcement would probably come back in six months to a year. So I just need a job to hold me for now. It paid $17 an hour. Had I not thought of financial freedom and i just said okay i'm just going to be a cdl instructor i enjoy the job i get to teach a trade to somebody and, and put that put a career in their hands drivers make three or four times what an instructor makes i could have went and drove but i found a job i like and it was just short term and i stayed there no i never would have reached financial freedom no i think Re that's important no i think you're right i don't think you can become a millionaire making 17 bucks an hour life is just too expensive I'm not even sure if you could live at home and somebody else pays your rent and food that you could become a millionaire. But here's the key. Everyone starts there. And what you did and what I would recommend others do, especially if you're employees like us, if you're an entrepreneur, hey, not my jam, not my thing, you do you. But if you're an employee, become a good employee. Figure out where the opportunities are. Skill up. Get paid more, change jobs. Don't, but then don't flex, don't change your lifestyle, you know, all of those things. So you're absolutely right. Making 17 bucks an hour, you can't become a millionaire. But can you start the path to become a millionaire making 17 bucks an hour? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think most of us start making less than that, making nothing. <laughs> you know, we're students or we go into college debt with even, even worse than that. Right. Um, uh, the, according to the Millionaire Next Door study and the Dave Ramsey Group study uh, of over 10,000 millionaires, 88 percent of millionaires are self-made. Right. 12 percent inherited their wealth. And then uh, of the 88, there was like 5 percent that inherited less than fifteen hundred dollars. Like myself, I inherited a 12 gauge shotgun and a 44 Magnum. That was my full inheritance yeah. to reach financial freedom, starting at seventeen dollars an hour at the age of 40 as a single parent, finding out about a bunch of bad debt. It took learning a skill to become more attractive to the, the company, right? What endorsements can I add to become a better teacher? What ideas do I have that would grow the company that might get me demoted down to president of the company? What side hustle can I do? I played World of Warcraft, which is one of the things I can actually do with my kids to generate income. And then there was overtime. And then it was moving from my house to an apartment to rent out the house for two years, saving to move into the duplex so to reduce my living expenses. So it wasn't just the $17 an hour. People focus on that a lot. It was, what else did I do to make money? What else did I do to reduce my expenses? And the most important thing to me, and kind of why I chose my role in, in our analogy of you're in the stadium, getting all the millionaires together saying, this is how you get on the field. And Matt and Mike are on the field. You know, this is how you self-manage at a distance. This is how you self-manage your rehabs and burrs, like all the things they do. And I'm in the parking lot with the drunk tailgaters going, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Have you even looked into it, right? Here's the, the thing to me that mattered the most. What's your motivation for reaching financial freedom? If it's you just hate your job, that's not going to do it. You, the, people stay in jobs they hate for years working for some pension or self-punishment or whatever they're doing. But for me, it was time freedom to do anything, not no, nothing. That number 19, I wanted more time with my kids. And most people don't realize this. And, and I don't think a lot of people will admit this. Your job is killing you. Yeah. People worry about health care. How about caring about your health? Right? The, the stress of that job that I, I honestly didn't know about. I was the president of the company. I got to set my schedule. I get to hire, yeah. terminate, and make decisions. 
that impacted every single employee and the company owners and all of the students and the employers and agencies that we worked with. Like, um, what do you call it? Responsibility. No, stress. Stress, yeah. Like the lumberjack landlord. When he retired a couple of months ago, he looks a decade younger. Oh, he does. It's amazing. Folks, at the end of the day, becoming a millionaire, making 17 bucks an hour in today's inflationary environment is not possible. But you can start there. You can have a plan. You can you can get there. You just got to scale up. You got to do the work. You have to believe it's possible. This is why I can't deal with the drunk tailgaters in, in the parking lot because they just piss me off because they just say stupid things <laughs> as he sips on some gin or vodka or whatever it is. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm so glad and so happy to be a part of this. Uh, you know, ha- I love that you're in the parking lot. You you are the teacher and the master. So, Dion, where can people find you? They can find me in the tailgate section <laughs> of the parking lot. Teaching people that it's it's, it's vodka Zuber, in case I ever come to your house for a drink. It's, it's vodka. Got it's it. Vodka. I'll have it. I'll have it ready for you. And uh, find me right here on YouTube. Dion Talk Financial Freedom. Thank you, buddy.